get home it's your favorite song Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet a collar onto a top in today's video you're going to need a pair of scissors a five millimeter crochet hook tapestry needles to weave in the ends a measuring tape and in this video i'm going to be using this yarn is crafters secret cotton in the color valentine's this is the uh, yarn i'm going to be using to crochet my collar onto my top and if you're interested in learning how to do this just keep watching all right so first things first you're going to want to try on your top if you can and um determine where you want your cop how far down you want your collar to go down and for me it's going to be four inches down and as you can see it's four inches and i've just placed my stitch markers in the row where it equals four inches and what you're the first thing you're going to do is of course you're going to start off with a slip knot and then okay so on the sides of the top for right here on the sides you're going to place two single crochets on the sides on both sides on this area you're going to place one single crochet on the top so what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook and attach your yarn. And you're going to begin for the first stitch you're just going to place one single crochet. Ooh, that is not a single crochet <laughs> one single crochet and then you're going to place another single crochet I don't know why it's doing that Yes, two single crochets and then you're just going to continue single crochet crochet Oop. so yeah you're just going to continue placing two single crochets in each double crochet row until you get to the end where you go to the, the neck portion of the top. Okay, now we're about to place the last two, two single crochets in the last stitch marker. So I'm just going to take this out. <coughs> and place the last two single 
crochets. What you're going to do now is you're going to chain up two. Turn your work. And then you're going to double crochet in every stitch all the way till you reach the other side. So you're going to place a double crochet in every stitch until you get to the other side of the collar. Alright you guys, so we placed our last double crochet in the last stitch. So what, you, what we're going to do now is for the next row, if you don't want to just leave it like this, um, what you're going to do is you're going to chain up two. And then you're going to turn your work. And then we are going to place a double crochet in the same stitch as your chain up two, so right in here where you're going to place a double crochet and on this row instead of doing a regular double crochet each stitch what we're going to do is we are going to double crochet in the back loops so we are going to go under this stitch right here until we get to the other side so we are double crocheting in the back loops all the way around. And I'm going to keep doing this until I get to the other side and I will come back to show you the next row. All right, you guys, here we are on our last double crochet, but in this back loop, we are going to place two double crochets in this back loop. And then for the next row, we're just going to do the exact same thing, chain up two, Turn your work. And place two, place another double crochet in the same stitch as your chain up two. And continue to double crochet in the back loops until you get to the other side. And in that last stitch on the other side, remember to place two double crochets in the last stitch. Alright you guys, here we are coming up on the end of this row. Remember in the last stitch you're going to place two double crochets. The two double crochets creates the, the triangle shape. And as you can see in the top, so far, the crocheting in the back loops helps the, the little flip, I guess. So here's what it will look like so far. And I'm going to do 
one more row you can do as many rows as you like however you know wide your collar you would want however wide you would want your collar to be that's how many rows you would keep doing i'm going to do one more and then i'll be back when i finish the last row to show you how i finish off all right you guys so i finished off on the end with the two double crochets in the last stitch so right now what i'm going to do is i am going to I am going to chain up one and this is what I'm doing to finish off my top I'm going to chain up one and then I'm going to place two double crochets I mean two single crochets I'm sorry in each double crochet row so one single crochet one single crochet and I'm gonna do it again for the next one two single crochet in each double crochet row Alright, so I'm back to the collar, and what I'm going to do is place a single crochet right in the edge right here, and then I'm going to place two single crochets in each double crochet row, and this is for the edging of the collar. Two single crochets. And this is the last row. And then we're going to chain up one. And four this all the way around until we get back to this corner is a single crochet in each stitch
So you guys, my camera stopped recording. But once you get to the end over here, you're just going to place a slip stitch in the chain one you did over here. And you're going to cut your yarn and you are going to tie off the knot. And you can, you can just weave this piece in with your tapestry needles. And this is the finished look, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials in the future. I am in the process of doing a crochet collection, and I plan on recording many more tutorials on how I get my garments. So, if you're interested, please subscribe and stay tuned, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!